ready. <laughs> That slower pace that Allie and I had been dreaming of all fall long finally settled in during the tail end of November. And we were still busy with plenty to do, but with the leaves down, we had the limbo of the season's transition to wallow in while we waited for the white blanket. And so we found time for our favorite simple pleasures. and I finally took Allie to Elmer's for breakfast. around capturing the tail end of fall for some clients and spent more time than usual in our cozy apartment as the day's end forced us to retreat inside earlier. week before Thanksgiving, Yolani dropped off a sage bush that Allie turned into giant smudge sticks. And I took breaks from editing to make bread for our big dinners ahead. And slowly but surely, we regained our strength in the home gym, clocking in almost every other day all November long. And one night I shaved my fall beard as switching up styles is one of my favorite ways to keep life fresh and fun. And I continued testing new camera gear, learning a lot about audio, colors, and dynamic range. <laughs> this is test number two. This is with the shotgun microphone, just testing out the sound. You recording? Yeah. All right, so this is a test on the lav. And then on channels three and four, I've got the shotgun, or at least on three. If I were to walk over here, do something like this, and then walk over here, And every time the lighting would change, I'd step out on the porch of my little studio and get a few shots, import them immediately, and start playing with the footage. I was learning the ins and outs of the gear I was testing through experience and marking the beginning of a new filmmaking rabbit hole. You looking for cranberry? This is downstairs. I'll be on the way. Which keys is who? Grab you up my keys instead of your keys, grocery shopping often and eating well, and having simple and beautiful nights in the apartment 
getting to bed early, and waking up early and consistently. with the beautiful morning light, sip good coffee and bubbly water with dark cherry extract, and get a good burn in before working all day in the office. And I was having so much fun filming simple everyday things with the gear I was testing. And I learned that the most important aspect about the gear you choose is that above all, it should make you excited to pick it up and use it. A couple nights before Thanksgiving, we went shopping. And of course, the local grocery was a madhouse with half of America in there at once, getting last minute accoutrementes for the big feast. And the energy of it all swirled in the sharp November air. While we have nearly finished putting cedar shakes on the south side of the cabin, I'm not sure that we have enough stained shakes to finish the front and the other side. And since we can't apply stain when it's too cold out, we want to make sure that we have other things to do this winter to keep the momentum going. Because once we get our first good storm, the road becomes inaccessible and we can't bring more materials in. So we've been trekking in the last of the insulation, as well as shiplap for the ceiling, so that when we ride the old snowmobiles here in the winter, we can stay overnight and work all day. And every time we head there, no matter what we're doing, I've learned to bring my Jackery 1500 power bank. Because it's useful in so many different ways when we're off the grid. I try to keep it charged at my office by plugging it into the wall. But if I ever forget, or if it's not charged all the way, I can use the DC adapter to plug it into the car and charge while on the ride. And that's one of the things I love most about this power bank, the versatility, as you're also able to plug in up to four of Jackery's 100 watt solar panels at a time to stay charged wherever you are. And to be able to keep my tool batteries charged at all times is a game changer for productivity at the cabin. And to do it without a gas generator blocking out the sound of the river helps keep this place peaceful. And as we lose more and more hours of daylight, long days at the cabin wouldn't be possible without the jackery there to keep the lights on. And with 1800 running watts, it can power almost anything you throw at it, which is wild considering its size and how easy it is to carry. And 
with all your modern ports and some other handy features, this power bank has truly earned the spot as my go-to portable power solution. So give the gift of power this holiday season with 15% off jackery.com through December 10th. And click the link in the video description to learn more about Jackery and all their powerful products. And after over a year and a half, the long-awaited finale of Georgie the Bust had arrived. The final color was exactly what I dreamed when I first laid eyes upon it. And with nearly all the panels replaced with new sheet metal and the inside a blank canvas, this bus was ready for spring renovations. And though when we picked it up, it drove good for about a mile, it ended up puttering out on a hill in thick traffic and we had to enlist the power of the three A's to get Georgie back on home turf. Even at ISO, at ISO 600, and you can see everything. And Georgie's arrival in front of that little brick building in the blue earth was a feast for the soul. After he was situated, we went over to Allie's parents' house to see the whole fam and have a few drinks. And in true American spirit, they were fully decorated for the holidays. With Bing Crosby and Sinatra in the background, it was impossible not to smile in the warmth of that big white house. Good thing I 
got a good fit. We're gonna be here. You're gonna walk hard so we're gonna be here. You're gonna be here at 6.30 tomorrow. Yeah. 6.30? You can come and have breakfast, go home and sleep for two hours and come back and I don't know if that can be me. That's the true gravity of anything they can ever say, if you can bring out emotion, it's just like, it's beyond, that, that is success in speech, mm -hmm. it really is. Mm -hmm. It's a success in music, it's success in any format you ever put forward. If you can bring out emotion, then you really, you did your job. And so with one joyful family evening under our belts, Thanksgiving Day had arrived. And I did a little work in the morning before meeting Allie back at the apartment where she was cooking mac and cheese and stuffing for the day ahead. kicked the day off with mimosas and a great big breakfast for all the daughters and boyfriends and friends. And growing up in a small family, I always lusted for holiday seasons like this, with tons of people that all get together and just act themselves, where you can get lost in it all for a few days without any worries, as nothing on earth is more important than these times. And because of Allie, I get to experience what it's like. First day, we ate the big feast at noon and watched home movies and ended up conking out early and sleeping in the movie room. Does anybody need wine? But we woke while the world was still blue and went home and got a few things done before day two of the festivities.
Now the metal gets watered. <laughs> And by the time we headed back toward the office, the wind was thick with white flakes. And we smiled at the sight because we had no idea this was coming. And before we went back to Allie's, Noah stopped by the office to talk cameras. <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. It really doesn't feel real. Flakes seemed to get thicker by the minute. As we walked in, I thought of how there was only a few times in my life that I remember having snow right around Thanksgiving. While the charcuterie board was dismantled by hundreds of hungry fingers, I walked the snowy yard, admiring the orange windows of warm abodes in this humble little American mill town that holds so many stories, some of which I've heard through my parents who came to age in these streets, and others through grapevines and old photos on the walls of our favorite breakfast joint. And it seems that each one adds texture to this town, the kind of texture that can only be found when you shake the dust and shine life into the brass of times past. Will you take a picture of Kyle and I by the tree? snow piling up, there was no choice but for all the kids to meet in the backyard for a snowball fight. Come here. Come here. No. Oh, okay. There it is. 
That thing was like a bullet. I was like, all right, he's got arms. I've made brownies in that since I was a kid. Yeah, that's funny. Anything Grandpa has is all from my childhood. That one, though, is like, yeah. Everybody's in. Everybody's in. Everybody going up? <laughs> and then cinnamon cake in more home movies, where I thought about how one day, many, many years from now, we'll be watching the movies we're making now on nights just like this. It's like four or five inches. Yeah. We gotta get the the ceiling and the flooring. It's not plowed very well, but I think it's worth it. And for the first time this season, the snow plows were out, and we walked under the lights of Depot Street, where the local chef Dewey spotted us walking by, and he caught Allie just in time. Look at this, how deep it is. This is crazy. It's true. I wanted to get some of you too. Take Mal outside on a leash. Oh no. I've never seen the snow up. And the next day we explored a bit of our freshly covered earth and we had leftovers for lunch and later that night headed to the hills for our final evening of festivities. This time with my parents, Hooter, Danko, and Oak.
need it. Why didn't you think that? It smells really good. It's like lemongrass and pine and oh, cedar yeah, wood. Yeah. Most of those food treatments do smell good. I wasn't having one this year because everyone on her husband's side of the family was working. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. There's a lot of fun now. Yeah, usually Are you still your videos up? Cooking? No, it goes up at 9 o'clock. Oh, still up really. I was going to say, let's watch your video. Her oh, sister. we definitely should do that when it comes out at 9. Yeah, we could. Did Simon bring you that sweater? I bought it when I went out to visit him. Oh, on my road trip day. I haven't seen it before. I like it. Well, we're waiting. We might as well watch. It's going to be 45 yeah, we, minutes. Yeah, we got a little bit of a wait. You said you really like. I really like that one, yeah. So I tested the video one, and then I tested basically the... It's kind of funny. Noah has the camera. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think shaped like this. A jug. It was like a jug. <laughs> oh, get out of there! Oh, yeah, definitely. I pulled another big yeah. chick off. No question. Really? Especially if you've never played it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 much quieter than the evenings at Alley's. It was beautiful in its own way. to the warmth of the wood stove. And the next day, I met a local legend to learn how to operate a big loader. changing project with John was about to begin.